Moses. Miss Caulfield, I speak with you for a minute. You should go. Please, have a seat. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. But if we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield. Okay, Miss Caulfield. I hope you don't actually have information. Because, you know, withholding it could get you into trouble. Thank you for your concern, Detective. I'll keep that in mind. That's everything. I believe I'm free to go, right? Yes, you are. Thanks again for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day. Oh, oh shit. Moses, wait. Okay, let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. Wait, is that... Wilder beasts than these. Colmenero. <laughs> Figures there'd be copies all over campus. Might as well add it to my collection of so-called clues. I picked up so many things today. Best lay it all out and see if it gets me anywhere. I can't remember when it's been this clean, but it'd be the perfect place to put all my, uh, evidence. I know you're not a magic eight ball, but can you pretend? Is all this gonna turn out okay? Outlook not so good? Shit, Neb. I could've told you that.
Oh my god, Max. How many of these movies are there? It's a horror franchise, Soppy. They don't get good until at least the third one. The real horror is that they found a way to make three of these. Hmm. Is that a compartment? Does something come out of here? Hey, can I move those pegs? Hey, something just happened. A disc with some symbols. Well, well, well. Max Caulfield, you clever minx. Wait, does the outer dial move now? It does. And so does the inner one. I need a bit of space to examine the clues I've gathered. I too like to strip naked with my friends and dance under the all-seeing eye to demonstrate my commitment to society. The first puzzle box tested my eye for detail. This one must test another Abraxas value. I guess I haven't been home in this world for a couple days. It's like a time capsule of the day Safi died. Weird. I loved telling Safi how the lens can totally change your perception of a subject. I loved that she didn't need me to explain why that was powerful. We took in a little liquid courage before the polling alley shoot. Sophie's insistence. Well, mostly Sophie's. It's been a minute since I exhibited in a gallery gallery, but Dr. Preston was excited about working together on something next year. I bet the coffee table has enough room for my evidence. I can't remember when it's been this clean, but it'd be the perfect place to put all my, uh, evidence. Okay, Max. Let's see what we've got. I still don't understand why Gwen would do this to Sophie. 
Especially since she helped her get the book deal in the first place. This was meant to be a loud message, but from who? And what does it mean? While I do want to see this so-called incriminating footage of Gwen, it's probably best to wait till Moses leaves to check it. I know Vin and Abraxas are entangled in everything that's happening. I just don't understand how yet. Lucas, I really don't think he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield, but there's clearly more bad blood here than I knew about. I probably shouldn't leave all this out in the open. Maybe if I step away for a bit, these will all make sense later. Hope Moses is doing all right. I should go see if he's gotten Sophie's camera hooked up yet. want to see what Sophie captured on her camera. This means I'm in, right? I'm official Abraxas material? Moses? You okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous? About seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Far from it. Safi was special to us. To everyone. But I meant, are you okay, okay? No. I, I will be. I think. I'm here if you need to vent. I lose one of my closest friends. And when I should be processing my grief, I'm being interrogated by this... Appreciate you standing up to him. My pleasure. You didn't need to deal with any of that. Not then, not ever. <sighs> How about we see if Safi's selfie skills are better than mine? <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Sneaky girl.
What is this? Max, you... You killed her? That isn't me in the picture. I swear. Uh, yes it is, Max. It's Photoshop. A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. So this is why you went and got the camera? No, Moses. Please. I don't understand this any more than you do. But we can figure it out. Just give me some time. Stay the fuck away from me! This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillion time. I've gotta be missing something. No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Safi. Maybe that photo of me has a clue I'm mi Moses, when this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want. I swear. Restraining Order Lucas said Safi once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Safi, not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. Hold on. She's 
just looking right at the camera, like she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Or is this another doppelganger? No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Safi. Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Safi. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there was that photo of him and Safi canoodling. But what does that even mean? Whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. Before Safi died, Gwen got her book cancelled, and I still don't know why. But why on earth did Gwen cancel Safi's book deal? Didn't she help her to get it in the first place? Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. Moses? Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, fuck. Can I come in? The photo. If he sees that... I have some questions for you. Of course, I... I can answer your questions right here. Well, this is a nice change of pace since yesterday. I appreciate the cooperation. There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Go ahead. Arcadia Bay. Where you went to high school, right? Yes. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A small town with a curious number of murders. And now, Safi, Llewellyn, Fayed, murdered in a small town? What are the odds? What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky, or is it just everyone who ever meets you? Just my shit luck, I guess. Oh, hard life, isn't it? Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? I... I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. All right, enough. 
We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Somehow, all this death leads to you. That's not true. He saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. What the hell do I do now? None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? The old me would have just... Jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Maybe... Maybe I still could? That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. No. Feels good. Final. Safi. Hmm. It's here too. But there wasn't a storm the day Safi died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Safi, wait. Who is Maya? What was she talking about? Stop stalling, Max. I don't understand. What do you want from me? Pull the trigger.
Moses. You were right. I don't know how. But you were. I have to tell him. Everything. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. I have to do this. I have to go back up there. This is where the police tape was yesterday. Did the cops take it down on Alderman's order? He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. I know Sophie would have something poetic to say about this. If only. If I didn't know what used to be here, I'd find this really beautiful. What if he doesn't come? I couldn't blame him. I killed his best friend. What does that say about me? That I... Any version of me... Could do something like that? He's probably not coming. Diamond knows where I am and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. You were right. I... shot Sophie. But I can't tell you why, because I don't know the answer myself. No reason you could give would be good enough. Moses, wait. I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look. These flowers. What are the odds they bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Safi is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me poof, disappear. Yeah. To some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait. You can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then... You'll believe me? 
It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. All right. There's a chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other. I shouldn't leave yet. Now to see what Moses is up to on the other side. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit! I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. Ready when you are. Okay. Let's try this again. Psychic storm. What did I do when you were away? And then you said... Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um... Yep. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> wow. I mean... Yeah, near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to... You okay? So Sophie's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? The bottle cap? How did you... Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. When you give that to her, tell her... Tell her stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need our help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? I know it sounds like it must have been amazing, <laughs> but Moses, the things I caused to happen, just having a power 
doesn't necessarily give you mastery over it. One of many lessons gleaned from X-Men comics. The point is, I stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night, with a gun. You're saying that could be the future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there, in the past. Sophie mentioned Maya, and oh God, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Sophie. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here too. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Thyatt's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. An Alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of here. <gasps> I fucking knew it. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small-time fuck-ups like you get under my skin? What do you want from us? I thought I wanted some evidence. Close this fucking case and celebrate with a nice cigar. And then I got my evidence. That little photo of you with the gun. And you know what I realized? Not a fucking soul would believe me. You're going to pay for what you've done. Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to... collect?
saved him, Moses. I could have saved him. No, you couldn't have. Listen to me, Max. This place ate a man. Moses, your hair. I told you, there's always a cost. It started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you, why she died, then maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey, Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you. Rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. Maya was before my time. But Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen. Gotta go talk to Gwen. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya. And while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Is that Sophie's? Book? Hey, Gwen. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal canceled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? So I've been told. <laughs> well then. No use fighting the inevitable. What do you want to know? So, what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. Let me get this straight. You helped Safi get the deal, and then you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know, I brought you into this world, etc. Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? Uh, 
How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Not a lot. I know they were friends. <laughs> Understatement of the year. The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that... Ben Lang kid used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then... Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but it's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over, huh? Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. How do I get my hands on a copy? Gotcha. Reading Safi's manuscript after all... Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see what Yasmin had. Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Hi, Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. I'm gonna try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. Have you seen Safi today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Would 
Do you really fire her? That depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? <laughs> Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. The coffee is just... so-so. <laughs> Did Sophie tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Sophia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Sophie's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Sophia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? Of course, I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... What? Everyone seems to have a different opinion of Maya. It's hard to track what's true. I understand that Ms. Okada was a bit chaotic. So... She had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Sophie associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Sophia's been distant lately. Could you... Keep an eye on her for me. I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that. I'm not asking you to spy. Just... Let me know how she's doing from time to time.